This is Temple OS. It's a 64-bit PC operating system. It has an Oracle. That's why it's called Temple OS. Um, the main purpose is for doing offerings and of uh, hymns and art and poems and stuff, and then getting a response from God in the Oracle. After Egypt, this is after they left Egypt before they got to the Promised Land. It's just a fun little game that uh, kind of... Uh, well, anyway, here's you go up the mountain to talk to God. This is serious. You, I'm going to praise God for vines. Um, you get out of God what you put in. So uh, anyway, uh, so this is a high-speed stopwatch um, for uh, generating random numbers. Um, basically, uh, it's tongues. Um, when you uh, get a spirit to speak, that's tongues. Or you could use a Ouija board. You can just randomly crack open a book. But I use a high-speed stopwatch. So, uh, proceeding forgetteth healthful gain wealth innocent way wives meet sellers me example stiff mystically strict listing anyway so uh interpretation is tricky um i do comics as offerings we saw a treasure ship on the bottom of the red sea can you part it again the egyptians saw it too so uh anyway it includes a um a 64-bit uh, kernel. It's public domain, 100% open source. It's got a 64-bit compiler and, and an assembler. It's got a language that's like C, C++, but uh, got improvements called Holy C. It works just in time or ahead of time. Um, it's got uh, no crufty 32-bit code. It's 640 by 480. That's what God said, VGA. Um, it's got keyboard and mouse, PS2. It's got uh, hard drive support for FAT32 and Red Sea file systems. Red Sea is a native file system that's uh, proprietary. It's got CD, DVD support, ISO 9660. You can make ISO image files. Um, anyway, uh, it's got partitioning and bootloaders. It's got an editor browser. It's got a document format that's a, like a extended ASCII with graphics and links and trees. Um, you can make your source code have links and trees and stuff. Um, it's got 8-bit ASCII instead of just 7-bit. So uh, I call it 8-bit. It's the IBM PC screen codes. So you can use those uh, European accents and stuff, and you can use Greek symbols. Um, it's got graphics and source code. It's got 64-bit pointers. It's ring zero only. It's identity mapped. Um, so it's easy to do interprocess communication. It's got multi-core support. You can do uh, it's it's master slave, not SMP. Um, that's that's better for real time. Anyway, um, it's got 2D, 3D graphics library. It's got a differential equation solver, physics engine. It's got an autocomplete that will uh, help uh, navigate, jump to source code, and uh, complete symbols. It's got a window manager. You can hit Control Alt Z to zoom in on the cursor anytime, any place. Control Alt Shift Z. You can pan anytime, any place with a controlled left mouse. Um, it's got a file manager. Control D. If you want to do your development work, you can you can use a file manager for development work. Um, you, I'm going to navigate down to this ASCII file. Hit space bar, then F5, and now I can. Uh, Type some. It's making ASCII uh, frequency. It's making frequencies based on the ASCII code. Anyway, uh, so it's got a profiler, a merge, a diff. It's got a heap check, a heap uh, log. Um, it's got uh, PC speaker support. Um, these are some of my hems that I did as offerings. Um, You can get some help from God making making melodies. Um, anyway, it's got a music composing tool. It's got games. It's got um, it's got a bunch of demos. Like you you can uh, it'll teach you how to use the API. Um, it's good for learning programming. This is a really uh, simple program. It's uh, good for beginners. Um, it's got like a hundred 
demos documentation you hit F1 and you can go to the documentation it's got all the API functions broken down by category um, all sources included it's like 130,000 lines and uh, um, it's mostly command line driven um, so you, you can say 1 plus 34 and it says 35 um, you can make a uh, it this is uh, it's not like Unix and DOS it's a um, C holy C interpreter so if I can say uh, I can say uh, I can enter a code at the command line um, so it's I'm, cr I'm compiling a function just in time so uh, for i equals one semicolon i less than or equal to n semicolon i plus plus now print statements are uh, if you if it encounters a string by itself it's a print statement um, so uh, we can unassemble this um, unassemble this is like uh, unassemble function so there it's 64 bit machine code it's using register variables I can say count to 10 I can say count benchmark this it's faster than any other operating system um, I'm going to do a count to a million 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 anyway so uh, you hit control M you get to your menu um, we're going to go look at uh, the games directory um, you can see it uh, it typed CD and then dir um, if you don't have uh, arguments you don't need parentheses for functions anyway so uh, we're going to check out rocket science uh, coefficient for the rocket feedback um, anyway uh, so here's uh, the first person shooter it's got graphics and source code um, God said they're dancing uh, anyway so uh, there's a potted plant. Um, anyway, so um, Control M gets to the menu. So the icons are uh, are just uh, macros um, that have a payload. So this you can imagine this just uh, calls the this is the eagle diving for fish flight simulator. I'm having to write uh, eight frames a second to the disk and 30 frames a second to the screen. So you're seeing eight frames a second, but I'm seeing 30 frames a second. Anyway, uh, so uh, that ought to get you started. Um,